Hello everyone and welcome to the Zero Fossil Fuel Show. I'm Zero, your host, and this is the engine compartment of my Honda. So welcome to the engine compartment of my Honda also. Uh, I am here tonight to publish my first results, test results with the Zoofer cell running in the car, supplementing the gas flow of my vehicle and burning with the gas and increasing the efficiency. Uh, I want to show you a couple of things here. You can see that right here I have my volume measurement device precariously perched on a piece of uh, masonite here across my radiator so hopefully this won't spill when I start the engine and show you the gas production. Uh, right here is where the battery is located in my engine compartment. This is the, the Zoofer cell and the canister that I purchased at Walmart, the 5 inch diameter by 9 inch tall canister. You can see the section of ductwork that I had to remove in order to make way for this thing, but that's of no consequence. Um, right here in the very corner in front of the battery is a Bosch style relay. It is a 30 amp contact relay and the coil is energized by the ignition, which is provided by the ma master fuse box right here. Um, that prevents me from accidentally turning on the Zoofer cell while the car is not running and potentially causing an explosion once once it does start running so it can only it can only generate gas while the car is running um, this is the wire that runs back to the passenger compartment I don't know how well you can see this now coming off the top of the Zoofer the Zoofer cell is the first outlet pipe and right here on the snorkel I'll try to put my hand under so you can see it this is a one-way check valve to prevent backfire from uh, as the first measure of defense to prevent backfire from getting back into the the electrolyzer cell and causing major damage to the cell and the engine itself. Continuing on down the line, the gas enters the top of the bubbler right here, along the along the side of the bubbler that you probably can't see. Maybe you can. Is a sight tube that shows me what the fluid level is inside the inside the bubbler cavity, the canister, because it's a a uh, white plastic I can't see into it so I needed a sight tube and then coming out this is the tube that goes to the Venturi that was installed in the air ductwork in front of the plenum which it only needs to make a very short trip over the top of the plenum loops down into the side and goes directly into the Venturi where the gat where the HHO is fed into the plenum the plenum manifold and into the engine uh, I've redirected the output of the bubbler tonight to run down along this tube into this valve which goes into the volume measurement device that I've created and we, uh, we will take an actual measurement of what the um, gas production is. At present I really don't know what the gas volume production is. I can tell you that the cell is warmed up. Uh, I've come home from work tonight my established baseline of 31 miles to the gallon is based on weekly commuting and that means plenty of stop and go on the highway as well as a little bit of highway driving back roads things of that nature um, my measurement is taken with an extremely conservative uh, driving style and I went through one full tank with the Zoofer cell installed. No other modifications have been installed on this engine. I have yet to install the electronic fuel injection enhancer or EFIE, EFI for short, um, and when, when I do I will run a secondary battery of tests and, and measurements, but the preliminary results on my first tank of gas were so astounding that I didn't believe them myself. So what I did was I ran a second tank through and got exactly the same results. I'm here to tell you tonight that I have achieved a 20% increase in gas mileage. I am now posting regularly 36 to 38 miles to the gallon with no additional modifications to this engine. Um, everyone has said, well, you know, the, the production of HHO is, is less than unity, so you're going to get less energy out than you put in, but if my point is if you get 80% out of what you put in and apply that to an engine that's only doing approximately 18% of what you put in, the total system efficiency when you combine those two together goes up. And 
that is borne out in the results that I've already seen. Now, I know from, from experience that when I turn the switch on inside the car, the alternator, the additional drag on the engine from the in increased current that the alternator has to put out causes the RPMs to, slag, to sag slightly. As soon as the HHO begins to flow, the RPMs come right back up again. So I know that the energy is being returned to the engine and then some. Uh, so in just a moment, I'm going to start the engine and do a timed measurement to see how much gas production it takes from this electrolyzer cell to produce a 20% increase in gas mileage. I got to tell you, it's not going to be a lot. And I, I originally would have never guessed that such a small amount of gas production would have such a large impact on the overall efficiency of the engine, but it does. Stand by, we'll start up the engine and hopefully it won't fall over. Okay, we're back. The engine is running, and right now I'm drawing zero amps. I have my stopwatch at the ready. There you see that? I'm sorry you cannot see the, ga the uh, indicator on this um, digital multimeter, but right now what I'm measuring is the forward amps going into the cell. I'm going to energize the relay from the relay actuator coil but just by grounding out the coil wire and starting the gas production. So this is the first run. Let's see, make sure my valve is open down here. All right, valve is open. And there's the production. I'm a little bit surprised. It's only drawing about six and a half amps. My electrolyte must have uh, must have diluted quite quite a bit. The voltage is. 13.8 volts and I'm still floating around 6.4 amps we are at 26 seconds again I'm a little surprised at, at how little current this is drawing uh, when I originally installed the cell I was up s up someplace around 15 to 20 amps and uh, drawing quite a bit of current and producing quite a bit of gas this is 50 seconds and we're about, I want to say, 250 milliliters. Very strange. I'm, I'm going to have to increase the concentration of the electrolyte when I'm done with this test. Alright, we're at a minute and 20 seconds. Looks like we're about to fall over here, so I'm going to have to uh, hold on to the bottle to keep it from tipping. I should probably do something to extend the overall height of this thing so that it doesn't fall over and just goes on its own. Uh, maybe I will. Alright, just about there. Mark. All right, so gas is starting to bubble out from underneath the canister. I'm going to shake this out. A minute and 50 seconds to produce 500 milliliters. At that volume of gas production, I have increased my gas mileage on this car by 20%. Seems hard to believe but I guarantee I did it twice and that's why I did it twice because I didn't believe the first set of numbers <sighs> a little bit later I'm going to uh, have the cell out and I will uh, do some tests I want to show you a close-up of the bubbler that I've put together for this thing and uh, give you uh, a little bit more information on how this is all put together zero fossil fuel signing off for now Please stay tuned for further installments. This is fun.